Welcome to the course on dealing with missing data in Python. I'm Suresh Dunti, a deep learning and computer vision consultant. While I specialize in solving computer vision problems like vision for self-driving cars, video analytics of traffic on roads, people analytics in retail and public spaces, or biomedical image analysis, I've also extensively worked on analyzing and backtesting trading strategies using time series data. In data science, the first and foremost task while working with any data for analysis is to clean the messy data. Almost all real world data is messy data and a large portion of it includes missing values. For instance, did you know that 72% of the organizations believe that data quality issues hinder their analysis, customer trust and perception? Values might go missing during the data acquisition process whether it is due to faulty sensors or due to unfilled information by humans. Another prominent reason can be due to the accidental data loss or deletion of records by ill-informed users. There can be several other reasons for missingness. In this course, you will dig deep into analyzing the causes of missingness and appropriately treat them. This course will cover the significance of missing values, detecting missing values, analyzing the type of missingness and treating the missing values for all the frequently encountered data types, namely numerical, time series, and categorical values. Lastly, you will learn the most important step in dealing with missing data, which is imputing them. You will learn both the simple techniques as well as advanced techniques to deal with missing data. Finally, You'll also learn to compare between various imputation techniques, both statistically and visually. To be concise, the workflow for dealing with missing data is detect and convert all missing values to null values, analyze the amount and type of missingness, delete or impute them accordingly, and finally choose the best imputation method by evaluating their performance. Before we start off with treating missing values, Let's get familiar with the null value operations. There are two types of null values that are to be considered. One is the nan type, which is built in Python data type, and the other is np.nan of numpy, which stands for not a number. Both numpy and pandas libraries use np.nan extensively for working with null values. Let's compare the differences between the two. Performing logical operations as none or true returns true, while np.nan or true returns np.nan itself as the output. None does not support arithmetic operations like addition or division and returns type error. However, np.nan does not show any difference in its output. Note here that np.nan is equivalent to undefined and any operation on undefined is undefined that is np.nan. The reason the types nan and np.nan behave this way can be figured out by checking their types. While nan is of nan type and supports logical operations only, surprisingly np.nan is float and as a result we see that it supports both logical and arithmetic operations. Checking for null values is a very important task in our course. Hence, Checking for none equals to none returns true, while this is not the case of np.nan, which states that an undefined number cannot be equal and thereby returns false. Instead, the correct way to check for nan is by using the function np.isnan. You must note that finding null values this way does not work for nan type. Now, let's dive into practice. 